You've heard of blockchain, it's the tech behind Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Imagine a digital notebook, but shared across thousands of computers worldwide. Once something's written, it can't be changed or erased, making it super secure. It's a public ledger, anyone can see it, but no one controls it. That's revolutionary, no need to trust banks or governments. Blockchain isn't just for money, it's being used for voting, supply chains, and digital art. The big advantages, security, transparency, and decentralization. But there's a catch, it needs to be fast and cheap to go mainstream. Right now, using blockchain can be slow and expensive. Imagine if sending an email took 10 minutes and cost 5 bucks. That's why the crypto world is obsessed with making it better and more accessible. Enter the concept of layers, layer 1 and layer 2. These aren't just tech jargon, they're two approaches to making blockchain ready for everyone. One layer gives security, the other brings speed. You need both to build the future of the internet. Web 3. So what are these layers and why do they matter? Let's break it down. Scene transition. Layer 1 is the main blockchain, the foundation. Think of it as the operating system for crypto like iOS or Android. Bitcoin and Ethereum are Layer 1 blockchains. Their job? Securely process and finalize transactions. Bitcoin is digital gold, slow but ultra-secure. Ethereum is like a global computer, running smart contracts and powering thousands of apps. Layer 1 does everything itself, processes data, validates transactions and secures the network. It's decentralized, no central server, just thousands of miners or validators keeping things honest. This is the ultimate source of truth for the network. But as more people use it, the network gets congested, like a busy highway. Every transaction must go through this main road which keeps things secure but can slow everything down. The very thing that makes layer 1 safe, also makes it slow and expensive. That's the trade-off. So, how do we fix the traffic jam? Scene transition. Here's the problem, the blockchain trilemma. A blockchain can be decentralized, secure, or scalable, but only two at a time. Bitcoin and Ethereum are secure and decentralized, but not scalable. They process just a handful of transactions per second. Visa does thousands. When demand spikes, fees skyrocket and transactions slow down. Paying $20 to buy a $3 coffee, not practical. This bottleneck keeps blockchain from mass adoption. Developers have tried to make layer 1 faster, but there's a limit. You can't just keep widening the highway. The solution? Move some traffic off the main road. That's where layer 2 comes in. It's a new architecture that works with layer 1 to solve scalability. Scene transition. Layer 2 is like an express lane built on top of the main blockchain highway. It handles transactions off the main chain, making things faster and cheaper. For Bitcoin, the Lightning Network lets users make instant tiny payments off-chain, then settles the final result on Layer 1. For Ethereum, solutions like Polygon and Arbitrum bundle hundreds of transactions into one, then post a summary to the main chain. This slashes costs and speeds things up, while still relying on Layer 1 security. Layer 2 doesn't replace Layer 1, it works with it. The main blockchain remains the ultimate judge and record keeper. Layer 2 does the heavy lifting handling most transactions. You get the speed and low cost of Layer 2 plus the security of Layer 1. It's a smart way to scale blockchain for real-world use. That's how we get closer to mainstream adoption. Scene Transition 13 So, which is better, Layer 1 or Layer 2? The answer, we need both. Layer 1 is the foundation, the vault, secure and permanent. Layer 2 is the user-friendly front-end, fast, cheap and easy. Most daily activity happens on Layer 2, while Layer 1 keeps everything safe in the background. This layered approach is how technology scales, just like the internet. In the future, users won't care which layer they're on, they'll just enjoy fast, seamless apps. The goal is to make blockchain as easy as using the web today. Understanding these layers shows how blockchain is maturing, from an experiment to infrastructure for billions. Layer 1 brings security, Layer 2 brings scalability. Together, they unlock the promise of a decentralized internet. It's not a competition, it's teamwork. That's the future of blockchain. End 14. 